Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is my impression of a uh, head on Easter Island. Yeah, they, they had sideburns. Anyway, this is an image editor, a photo editor, and I didn't install anything to get this image editor. It's actually a website. <laughs> an image editor on the web at photo. Dot com. Now, the spelling of photo is F-A-U-X-T-O, faux for French for fake, photo.com. Nothing to install so long as you have a web browser and Flash, and 99% of the planet, including the people on Easter Island, have those two things. So with them, you could run this image editor on the web without installing a single thing other than what you have already installed. Uh, the nice thing about this is that the image editor goes wherever you go. There's nothing to install. Uh, you can get to it anywhere. You can get to a web browser that supports Flash. So if you didn't have Photoshop installed or an image editor installed on a, on a, on a computer that you're accessing, you could get to it easily. The software, that's always the latest version, sitting here on photo.com. And in my opinion and in my estimation, someone is going to acquire this and a big company is going to acquire it because it is, it is an image editor. So if I've already loaded images, uh, I can browse for them, uh, images from photo.com, or I can upload them from a webcam or directly from my computer. So let's go ahead and import an image that I've got, a JPEG that I've got uh, on my computer. Uh, now, now, of course, for a product like this, as is with most websites these days, the faster connection you have, the better off you're going to be. Uh, I happen to be streaming live video right now, so my upload speed isn't as great as it, it could be when I'm not uh, uploading live video directly to the web. But for the most part, the import process should be simple. Uh, you upload your image directly to the image editor, and then in here, you're able to do a variety of things that you would normally do in it. Whoa! <laughs> Apparently imported so quickly, it has now smushed the... F I, it was a nice picture, and it did it so fast, it just mushed it right up against the screen. It's that fast! It does that, it's just crazy. No, I'm, I'm kidding. That's the, the image was me up against glass. I, the, the, it didn't do that. Uh, but once once in here, uh, I can apply a, a variety of things uh, uh, that I can normally do. I, when I say apply, um, I can go through and add, uh, do filters like sharpening, blurring, finding edges, noise, embossing, enriching, posterizing, clouds, invert, desaturate, grayscale, colorize. Uh, I can add text. I can go in and I can touch up specific parts of the photo. I can smudge. I, I've got access to the paint bucket tool. I've got a pencil tool. I've got a polygon tool, a gradient tool. I can go in and I can add layers. I can add specific layers, like a multiply layer, a screen layer, a lighten layer, a darken layer, a difference layer, an add layer, an alpha layer, an erase layer. And it's free. It doesn't cost you a single thing, and there's nothing to install. Again, so long as you have a web browser and Flash. And my guess is, is you already have those two things. This is an amazing product. I can't believe that someone has developed this. And more importantly, I can't believe that someone hasn't acquired this. This is just... Ah, this is the way software is going to be. Pretty soon, you're never going to have to install anything on the desktop. Remember a few weeks ago when I was saying that more and more utilities are moving to the web? This is a prime and practical example about how software is moving to the web. This is going to destroy Windows. This is going to destroy Linux. This is going to destroy OS X. And I mean in the sense that the operating system is going to become less important when more software moves online. Now, Adobe is actually working on an online version of Photoshop, and they're probably going to charge you for it. But Photo, that I can see, looks absolutely free. And I'm telling you, man, <laughs> for not having to install anything, you get access to a lot of powerful features and functionality on someone else's CPU cycles. So I say, give this thing a shot, especially if you're not happy with your current photo editor. Google buying? I wouldn't be surprised if Google acquired this. I mean, if I had the money, I'd certainly buy it, even though it's, it's not, you know, doesn't cost users a thing now. This is, this is an amazing application. Trust me. Try it.